Hi everyone, it's Elle Wright. Welcome to my new video. I hope everyone's been having a really good day um, wherever you are and whatever you've been doing. So I haven't done a sit down chat vlog for a long time and I've really missed vlogging and putting things up on the channel. So I've just been thinking of ideas on what I could put and I thought one of the things I could do is sit down and do a video where I talk about and tell stories of my favourite surprises. So they're surprises that have like happened to me or I've felt surprised. But I know a lot of them weren't specifically intended, well, for for me, but they have all stayed with me in one way or another. So what am I going to start with first? I think I'll start with I had a wonderful surprise for my 18th birthday where my parents surprised me with four tickets so for me, my dad, myself and my sister to go and see the two noble kinsmen at the Royal Shakespeare Company and it would involve staying at a hotel in the middle of Stratford called the Shakespeare and we could go around and do whatever we wanted though mostly all Shakespeare related before going to dinner and seeing the play so this was a surprise that I really wasn't expecting because I, I remember sitting down with mum and dad and going they've got a surprise for me and it did recall memories of a surprise that I will talk about a little bit later in this vlog and so I was going, ooh, what's going on, what's going on? Because I felt sense as though this was a party but this was something very, very special for me for my 18th birthday but I kind of wanted it and I didn't because I knew that mum and dad were throwing me a really big party for my 18th birthday so this was a real shock so I opened up the tickets and opened up the envelope for them and there they were the tickets to see the show and it was just such a wonderful surprise and I could not have thought not have thought of a better way to spend you know spend celebrating my 18th birthday than with my family and in this way and another little surprise came with that and that was my friend Kate was in Stratford doing a show at the Attic Theatre and so we arranged for her to come and have lunch with me, my dad and my mum and my sister. So Kate had met my, well had seen my dad before when I, when he'd gone with me to see shows that she was in at the Cambridge Shakespeare Festival. But this was her first time meeting my mum and my sister and I think she really enjoyed it which was lovely. So Kate, this video watches you. Hi, I hope you're well. Okay, and surprise number two so this was back in 2017 the summer of 2017 and i was getting and i was waiting for my GCSC results so certainly that summer felt very nerve-wracking and originally and originally a couple of months before my friend adam who's an actor who i'd met through the came shakespeare festival had told me that he wasn't going to be involved in the play because he couldn't afford it or for various other reasons and so I'd gone to see the matinee of Much Ado About Nothing and this was the first Cambridge Shakespeare Festival matinee I'd ever been to so I was sitting on the mat with my dad just eagerly watching and then I turn around to what would be I think my left and then I see two people coming up and I recognise I think I recognised Kay at first, which is um, Adam's girlfriend, and then I saw him and I literally got up and said, shouted, Adam? Adam! And I was so happy, I think I could feel like my heart, my face was just so lit up when I saw him because it was just such a, sh a shock to see him and I really didn't expect it because I had expected not to have seen him at all that summer <laughs> but there he was so he had been called in last minute to take over a part and he gave me a really nice 
hug as well and it was nice to reconnect our friendship like that. So Adam, if you're watching, hello as well. Oh, and um, this mug, by the way, was also kind of a bit of a surprise as well, because I, because my last birthday was the first time I'd spent it without my parents, and my friend Georgie, I think, was in Cat Kidson, I think she said, and she, uh, and this was one of the really lovely mugs she gave me. So I'll just try and hold up to the camera. It's got an elephant on it, and you know, I wasn't expecting any presents at all and when I opened up the bag and saw that there were mugs in there there was this mug and, and another mug in there for me oh it was so wonderful and I feel really grateful to have been given these wonderful mugs by my friends and whenever I, I use them they bring back a lot of wonderful memories from when I got to celebrate my birthday with my friends and these were waiting for me. Okay, and moving on to the next surprise. The next surprise, well, for me, I think this is the surprise that I think will stay with me the most, was when I think I'd finished my GCSEs, so I was 16 at the time. 16? Yeah, 16. And I'd had my final exam, and I think we were going out for dinner, but then the, my parents and my sister sat me down and said that they had something for me. And they, because there were a load of presents, and, um, and so I was a bit suspicious. I was going, okay, what's going on? Going on? And I was thinking a bit shaky. I was going, oh my god, what's going on? I don't look like this. But mum and dad were going, trust us, trust us. So I opened up the presents. I think first of all, I opened up a guidebook to New York, and then I opened up the other present, which was a photo album, which said had pictures of New York and guess where we're going. And then I went, what? We're not. We're going to America! And then my mum told me we were going to New York and I said, You serious? Oh, oh even oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I've just um uh myself and how I was at that time has just come back to me and I've just kind of recalled that really quite vividly. But from that adventure many amazing things happened that I really didn't expect to have happen. So one of them was, well, I think the best one was when me and my mum went to the stage door before seeing Friday Neverland and we got chatting with the stage door manager, John, and he invited us backstage after the show, which I would never have dreamed of. Like, I would never, I don't think I ever thought I'd get to see backstage of a Broadway theatre and of a Broadway show. Because Finding Neverland starred Kelsey Kramer and Matthew Morrison, who I really, I recognized from Glee and so we went backstage after the tour and next thing I know Matthew Morrison came over and he was such a lovely man he was so so nice I will admit I was very starstruck at meeting him because he of how much I looked up to him and how much I loved his performance but thank you so much uh, Matthew Morrison for creating, helping to create a memory that has stayed with me. You know, I don't expect you to remember me, but <laughs> never mind. But kind of looking back on that, it's just like, it's kind of taught me and emphasised to, to me, while well, looking back on all my surprises that I've talked about in this video, it's really kind of emphasised to me about the wonderful things that can happen when you're so passionate and interested in something and if you go and take a risk and take a chance with it and go and do something with your passion you never know you never know what magical things might happen with it and what memories it'll create for you so yeah I think that concludes this video if you would like to how about 
let's do a discussion where you can comment your favourite surprises that you've ever had if you would like to share it with us. So I think that might very much conclude the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!